I was just taking a quick look at this new River 3, EcoFlow River 3. So this is an updated version of the River 2, of course. And the specs are basically the same as well. There's, there's, a, little bit, there's a little bit less capacity. We'll talk about why that is here in a second. But, you know, overall, yeah, 300 watt inverter, 245 watt hours. So you might be saying, you know, well, why, why would I, you know, why would I want to buy this new version? Well, there's a lot of new technology in here that makes this actually far superior. You know, obviously you're looking at the pictures here and you're thinking it does look smaller. Yeah, it is smaller, but actually that's not the big news. You know, that's obvious. The big news is, yeah, they're switching to, for the inverter here, they're using GAN technology. This is gallium nitride. So this is like a newer alternative to the typical silicon that, you know, all these electronic components are typically composed of. Now, sometimes you'll see other companies mention SICK. This is silicon carbide. It's basically the same concept. It's two different ways of solving the same problem. How, you know, how can you increase the efficiency? And a lot of this is due to the thermal properties and stuff like that. But basically, yeah, you know, how can you increase the efficiency of these things? And, you know, you use, basically, you use this new technology. So, and they're saying that this is, this is pretty dramatic. Two times the runtime on a small load with the AC inverter. So three watts. Yeah, I mean, get yourself like a little USB light, <laughs> honestly. You know, this is going to be much more efficient than the old inverter, but it's still not going to compete with DC power. But, you know, a lot of people, they, they do just want to plug stuff into this thing, right? They're, they're used to just plugging things into the wall. And the, the reason they're specifically mentioning like, you know, a low, a small load, like three watts, is because in a circumstance like that, the inverter itself, the inverter itself would actually use more power than the load that you're powering, right? So <laughs> this is, you know, this is like, a, it's a crazy scenario. So, you know, obviously with like large loads, where the load, the load itself is what's using most of the power, you're not going to have as much of a benefit here. But yeah, on small loads, it's going to make a huge difference, isn't it? They're saying, yeah, twice, twice the runtime. And we can kind of do some quick math here too, just to kind of like roughly estimate, you know, how much power the inverter on the old model was using versus the new one. So if we take three watts and we add five watts, right, for the inverter, let's just start with that. That would be eight watts. And if we do the math times that 30 hours that they're claiming, yeah, that's about 240. So that's close to the 245 watt hours, isn't it? And if we do some reverse math on there and start with the 240 number, and we divide that by the 16 hours that they're claiming that the old model could run a three watt load at, we'll actually, you'll actually get 15. So 15 and then minus that three watts, the actual load, you can see that basically they're saying that the old River 2 used about 12 watts just having the inverter on versus five watts for this new model. So, you know, this is, this is a great update, but as I said, you still, you'd still want to use DC whenever you can. Because, you know, the DC, the DC converter in these things, you know, typically it's like one watt. It might be two or three watts if you have a power station with a large battery that has a high voltage. Because then, you know, you'd have to drop it down to either 12 volts or 5 volts for USB. You know, but these smaller power stations always have a low voltage battery. So DC is always going to be super efficient. Now, the other big update is this new case design. So the size is a lot smaller. The weight is actually not any different, really. It's about the same weight. So if you're hoping for something a little bit lighter, you know, it's 30% smaller in height, in height. So these, these first two dimensions there are about the same. It's this dimension here. 
It's about an inch shorter. And this is kind of funny because it's practically the same design, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the same, it's like they just tucked this part and that's it. They got rid of everything else. And it kind of like, it's kind of tripping me out. Like sometimes it, it almost looks like this, it almost looks like it's the river too, like missing its top or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know, really it's just a better use of space. You know, you can see it's a full rectangle all the way towards the back. You know, where the River 2 had that kind of weird looking handle stick out. And just to clarify, you know, they're still using LFP cells with this thing. So, you know, it is impressive that they've been able to reduce the height on it by an inch. And actually what's even more impressive, you can see in this image, this, the battery cells are actually fully encased now in a waterproof, like their own little case that's waterproof. So now, you know, they know down here, <laughs> you know, the power station itself is not waterproof. It's just like, you know, if somehow accidentally water got into the power station, the batteries wouldn't be damaged and they wouldn't become, you know, a fire risk. So, you know, this is obviously, this is just good design and good to see that EcoFlow is actually, you know, spending more money for, you know, on something like this, because this is something that, you know, most consumers are just, you're never even going to know. So, you know, good for EcoFlow for doing, kind of doing the right thing here. Now for the charging, you know, the, the specs are pretty much the same. There's not really any change here. You can still fast charge it from the wall with just a standard cord in about an hour. The solar is still capped at 110 watts and 30 volts. So, you know, while you might be a little disappointed that they didn't really improve the charging specs at all, this is, this is a huge upgrade here because yeah, the old model, the river two, the river, all the, all the rivers, basically they've all had very loud fans, you know, cooling fans and, you know, EcoFlow, a lot of their bigger models, you know, they've, they've worked on this, they've made them quieter, but of course, you know, the river series was a budget series, but guess what? They're bringing that X quiet technology to the river series as well, I guess. 30 decibels, that's quiet.